Shoeware coming at you with our first impressions on the Jordan Luca 2. These things look sweet. Let's go. Welcome back to our channel. As you can see, today we're checking out the newly released Jordan Luca 2. The second shoe to drop in Luca's line with Jordan brand. It's just a pretty sleek looking design. What do you think about these, Miguel? I really enjoy them, especially the colorway and then all the little like designs on them. The they look details, really good. The details are crazy. It's got that like mint green colorway. I'm a huge fan of like the, the actual color, the color scheme of them too. But yeah, this is a really nice design. It does look, you know, like I said, it's, it's Luca's second shoe. It does look, have some similarities like just the actual makeup, like the mold of the shoe has similar similarities to the Luca ones, but they did change up, you know, honestly a decent amount. Then you'll see some other lines do like between the ones and the twos. I thought they changed up a little bit, but they are gonna have a higher retail price. With the ones they were 120, already jumping up straight to 130 on the Jordan Luca two. So I wouldn't expect to see a $10 price jump every year or else people are going to stop buying them but no I mean, I mean last year the jordan luca one it was a really solid shoe to play in so i'm not surprised they took a leap went ahead and went with the price jump on them but before we talk about the shoe anymore bring you back in here what kind of what kind of socks and merch we work working you with today no we have the baller socks on for sure had to come correct with the t-shirt of course we're matching you know what they you know what they say about matching you look better so now we'll get back to the actual basketball shoe. So, I mean, yeah, like I said, the Jordan Luca one was one of my favorite shoes to hoop in last year. Just a really well-rounded basketball shoe, not, not a weakness. The support was great for a low top model. I, I mean, we haven't played in them yet, but the Jordan Luca two definitely seems like it has a little bit of a different feel. Let's get on court, kind of check that out. All right, so now getting on the court, kind of seeing on this shoe for more of the performance side. First, bring you back down. What do we think? What do you think about the Luca two? They're great, man. They really are. Really clean design. I like how they got a little bit of a different uh, feel on this spot compared to this spot. We'll talk about that a little bit more here in a second. But as you can see, guys, this is our first impressions, but it's raining outside. We're getting to do it indoors. So we're going to get a little bit more of a realistic feel before I get to break those down. Probably in the same exact same exact gym. But so it's my first reaction. So I slid the Luca 2s on from the jump. You can tell your foot doesn't see, sink in nearly as much as it did on the Luca 1s. Like it's going to be a little bit more responsive this year. And I don't think that that's going to be a bad thing because it's coming from a good spot. So they were super, super comfortable and super padded like on last year's model. And I thought that that was going to stay. Oh, we're less than short. I thought that was going to stay. They switched it up a little bit. It's still going to be balanced, but you get not quite as like dense of a feel. But the support is a spot that the Luca 1s were amazing. The Luca 2s feel like they're going to be the same thing. There is one thing I've noticed already, though, is like whenever I'm walking around, they're only about a half a thumbs width uh, for the length. It's for, we're already down here talking about sizing. It's basically standard on the width, maybe a little bit narrow. But the thing is, whenever you walk, this material creases a little bit. And I notice it more on my left shoe. You can see it crease a little bit. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, of the Metal Ball 2s creasing in the toe and just, it's not really bothering me too much, but that would like, that would maybe be something that could keep you away from like going, going a half size up because you don't want too much space and have it like be creasing on your foot. But the last thing to talk about is the traction. I should let you look at the path really quick that we got down here. That was like easily one of the major highlights on the Luca one. It feels like it's gonna be the exact same. Like I said, we're getting to test it indoors already. Come on. Feels like no matter what, like feels like I can really, I can really hit that and then like pull back. I can hit that, feel like I can step back cleanly. This is gonna be a really nice basketball shoe, but that's gonna, I mean, what is there not to like about the Luca 2? What is there not to like about it? I liked them last year. We'll just miss the last shot. That wraps up our first impressions on the Jordan Luca 2. Sorry for kind of fumbling the uh, end of that last, the end of that last clip there. But I mean, this is a really, really solid basketball shoe from what I can tell so far. It was building off of a great start. I'll tell you, a lot of these shoe lines are off to like amazing starts. The Tatum one, Ja one, Luca. There was, I had a few more in my head, LaMelo. Like there's a lot of like really solid basketball shoes getting, getting started out there. And Luca's set in a perfect spot to keep pace with them. Second basketball shoe in a row that I'm a big fan of. So Landon, Ooh. for that price, do you think this shoe is gonna be worth it? 130, I mean, they were definitely worth it last year. 130 is a great budget option. And from what I, I actually got to play them indoors for the first time today already. And from what I can tell, they're definitely gonna meet that. Maybe be a little bit more. I don't know if they'll outmatch the Luca one, but we'll break that down for you soon. So make sure you come back and check out that full review. That'll be in like a week or two, but that's gonna wrap up our first impressions. Till next time, peace.